Okay, so it is a 2017 remake of the 1990s TV miniseries and an adaptation of the 1986 book by Stephen King. And this is probably my favorite Stephen King adaptation, if I'm not mistaken. They take it so, so seriously, and it's great. It is great to have material based on a book that does not suck. Do you hear me, Dark Tower? No? Okay, good. You're Sony. Stick with that. Anyways, plot of this movie deals with seven bullied kids who have to band together to stop this evil monster that takes the shape of a clown in many ways and forms and to deal with their own personal demons while hunting this threat, pretty much. This movie was great. This movie was great. This was the longest horror movie I think I've ever seen. This movie comes in at two hours and 15 minutes. Did not feel like it. Everything about this movie was phenomenally handled from the pacing, the acting, the casting. I love all the kids in this movie. The, the whole group of kids that have to deal with the situation they were all great especially the one with the glasses he talks so much shit but he was literally the standout of the group and possibly my favorite of the movie okay and you have the the other lead character who loses his little brother Georgie to Pennywise at the beginning of the movie just like the original and you have to deal with him cope and do it as well as dealing with these fucking bullies that in the movie that you, you just can't wait to see them get their comeuppance because you know they're going to so yeah when that really does happen that's no spoiler it's great because it redemption feels so much better when it's done to somebody who deserves it which I think is the moral of this story as well so that's what I'm taking away from that from it with that, as I should say. Well, Sarsgaard as Pennywise, I will say he is now my favorite Pennywise. He actually steals Tim Curry's role right out from underneath his hands. Even though the, vo the voices on both of them that they have are kind of awkward, but I'm leaning towards Bill's voice a little bit more since Tim Curry almost kind of sounded like a robot in the original, so to speak. But yeah. I'll possibly give my review of the miniseries at some point. But let's just say since I've seen the miniseries, it's not that great. This is a lot better, even though this does have comedy in it as well. I kind of took this one more seriously because it is more edgier than the miniseries, even though the, the bleeding picture in the original miniseries still fucks a lot of people up, including me. But I'm not afraid of clowns, so it didn't... The clowns don't scare me, so yeah. The whole theater, though, that was probably my best theater experience because they were all scared of clowns. They were all pussying out at stuff that didn't even happen yet because they knew it was coming. You know, that's not predictable. That's just knowing the source material. So when certain scenes happen, they're like, oh, fuck, no, not that, not that, no, that shit. I love that shit. I ate that shit up because it's so fucking true. It is so, so fucking true. The direction in this movie was great. Whoever they hired for this movie, they should have got the rights to the Dark Tower. Because I want to see what this same crew that made this movie would have done with a book, another book based off Stephen King that's action-oriented. That would have been a good seven to eight film series. This movie is one of two, pretty much. They, this has been planned out and you can tell it doesn't seem hacked on or rushed or nothing like that Warner Brothers has a plan for this so I can't wait for them to pull that off but in the meantime as the second best horror movie of 2017 I will give it an A- so anyways guys let me know what you guys think about it down below did you like it did you not like it which one is your favorite the miniseries or the first movie? I'm leaning towards the this movie 
because this movie took its time with its characters. We're going to get the adult version later on. It wasn't like hacked on to the end of this movie. And besides, when that movie comes out, which will probably be two hours too, at least it'll be, it'll be, how you say, fleshed out more. They fleshed the characters out more in this movie as kids. So now I can't wait to see what they do when they're adults. Now, the adult version of the miniseries was the weakest part of that miniseries. So let's have fingers crossed that the adult version to this movie will be better than the second half of the miniseries. But yes, I will see you guys at the movies. You guys have a great night.